Hey guys, NASCAR Bowman Wolf Nation here, Nation 88, sorry, and today we're going to be making another NASCAR that, well, theories and all upcoming NASCAR events, and as you can see, a guy haircut, yeah, I got a haircut today, so it looks very nice, I've been waiting to get a haircut, but it's so nice. It's cool, maybe. But yeah, now let's get to it. So, we're gonna talk about Phoenix. So, as a track, everyone's good at. So, I think. I, so, you know, I, I think here in the fast set, a general. Kyle looks already advanced because he's already advanced and he's already in that first spot, so it looks like he'll pretty much advance. Mark just used the last driver in. If any driver who's below the cut line wins, is a van will take out Truex out of the championship. I think the driver that can win Phoenix, maybe Chase Elliott, because he finished second last year. He almost got his first one last year, but lost to Matt Kenseth. Well, which was his last win. And Matt Kenseth will take it over the sixth car for the rest of the season, because Trevor, Trevor Bale was a much good drive full-time than, than since Matt Kenseth came out this year. Matt Kenseth and Trevor Bain shared the sixth car. Well, Trevor Bain's done for the year and next year. Well, he's done. We're not sure if he's going to return 2020. And about Jim. And later on soon, I will be uploading some Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, Chase Elliott. Oh, yeah, I have a mustache like Chase Elliott's. Spencer Gallagher had a big mustache at Talladega. Said, man, Spencer needs a shave. Yeah, got shaved. Do you know who really needs to shave? Ch Chase, uh, Jimmy Johnson. I think I feel like Chase Elliott is the new Dale Hart Jr., but he's not. Like Alex Bowman, and William Byron feel like they're kids. Well, William Byron's like the youngest. Well, he goes to college and Liberty University, which is his sponsor. But yeah. But I kind of feel like William Byron. Yeah, I pretty do. But Phoenix, here are my top three picks. One, uh, Alex, and one non -play, non playoff driver, Alex Bowman. Even though he's not in the playoffs anymore, he got eliminated from the last round. But this is, and actually, I think that's his home track. Yeah, Phoenix is Alex Bowman's home track, so he doesn't have to take an airplane or anything. He can just take a car. His hometown's in Arizona, and that's where Phoenix is. And that's a track that he's very good at. He filled in for Dale Hart Jr. last year in the 88. He did so professional. Wow. That's a new spotter, by the way, though. But Greg Ives, who still drives as the 88 crew chief. I think... I think the driver, but I think Alex Bowling, even though he's not in the playoffs, he can have a shot to win that, even though he's not in the playoffs. And two other players, not playoff drivers, Jimmy Justin or Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin needs to win, not because of his streak, because Denny Hamlin's won every year, because, but Denny Hamlin's streak looks like it's about to come to an end, so is Jimmy Johnson's, because Denny Hamlin has won every year. Well, seriously, it's about to be. Ex He's won every year. But do you know what? This year, 2018, Jenny Hamlin wins? Zero. His streak is going to be gone. Literally. But yeah, Jenny Hamlin, that's a track that he's really good at. But Chase Elliott wrecked him last year. I think Chase Elliott was, was still mad at him what he did at Marsonville last year. I saw that race. Chase Elliott almost won that race, actually. Last year, I was more of a Kyle Busch fan, by the way. And guys, if you're a Kyle Busch here, stop hating him, because he's starting to come back on the, on the good side. Stop thinking about the past. Just drop that. But yeah, I'm a Henrik fan, Joe Kiss fan. And Eric... How about Eric Jones? This week he's driving the, the CRSXM car. 
And the only Joe Gibbs driver right now who's never won yet was Daniel Suarez. Daniel Suarez is pretty stink this year, actually. Yeah. I think Eric Jones was more better than the rookie. That's why Eric Jones got rookie of the year. And Daniel Suarez is the only international driver, but yeah. But here are my predictions for, well, not 2018, but here are my predictions. So, my top three for playoffs, I gotta say Chase Elliott, Marcia Jr., and. I don't think Eric. I don't think Eric got more. Maybe Cliff Boyer. He's looking to win that. I'm not sure any of the Haas. Maybe Kurt Busch. The reason why March is here, because he's the last driver. Because if anyone, if any driver who is below the cut line wins Phoenix, March Jr. would not be would be knocked out of the championship four. He won. He won the championship last year. And actually, I want Chase Allen to win the championship. If he wins that championship, he'll become the youngest champion yet. And Jeff Gordon was the young, the youngest NASCAR player that won championship was Jeff Gordon. I only twenty three years old. If Chase Allen wins the championship, he would still be twenty two, and his birthday's like a, a week away from that championship week. But yeah, so that's my hopes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and please subscribe and like. See you guys later. Peace out.